Don't you ever just wish that Star Citizen would see your joysticks, button boxes, and pedals as one or maybe just a few devices so you don't have to swap them every time your PC restarts, your power goes out, a bear s*** in the woods somewhere? Well, you found the right series of videos. I'm going to show you how to download and set up VJoy, and we're starting right now. What's up, everyone? This is Subliminal here, and welcome. Today, I got a short one for you guys. In my quest to make joysticks more simple and easy to use for Star Citizens, I've come across a trifecta of softwares. These three pieces of software will make a huge impact on your peripheral experience with Star Citizen. That's HID Hide, VJoy, and finally, Joystick Gremlin. The playlist for this series will be linked up here down here, and way down here as well. VToy's role in this menage a trois is to make a virtual device that Joystick Gremlin will use to bind your buttons from your joystick to that virtual device. And HID Hide will hide your physical devices from your applications. Today, we're gonna get VToy downloaded and installed. And in my next video, we're gonna use Joystick Gremlin to map those bindings and bring it all together. All right, so the link to VToy is linked in the description down below. When you open it up, it will bring you to this page. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and click releases. It's gonna take us to this page here. And we're gonna right click on vjoysetup.exe. Click save link as. We're just gonna save it to our downloads folder. And we're gonna go up here to, and, and run the download. First, we're going to click yes. We're going to go next. I'm going to go ahead and download all four pieces of software, although I think you really only need the configuration software and the monitoring application, possibly. But I'm just going to download them all in case I need them. I'm going to click next, install. This hangs up a little bit, but it should work. There we go. VJoy installed successfully. Now that we have it installed, let's go ahead and tap the Windows button. We're gonna search for VJoy. And the first one that comes up is Configure VJoy. And we're gonna run it. Now that this has come up, I can see that even though I uninstalled VJoy, my settings were still saved. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend like we're on the first virtual device, even though we're actually gonna be on my third, okay? And what we're gonna to need to do is click Add Device. It seems like it's like hung up, but it's not. It just takes a little while to do whatever it's doing. Okay, here we go. Now, we have all eight axes here. Now, a virtual device can only have eight axes. It can't have any more than that. We're probably going to use them all. I know I'm going to use them all for the way I'm going to have mine set up. You may not need them all. It depends on what kind of sticks you have. For the number of buttons, the maximum that we can have is 128. So I'm going to go ahead and actually put that in, 128, just to make sure. And we're going to keep this on continuous, but we're going to change the amount of POVs to four in case we're going to need four. I'm just going to go ahead and turn everything on. It, it's not going to hurt to do that. We don't have any force feedback. We don't have a steering wheel or anything, so we're not going to check that. And we're going to hit apply. And again, it's going to look like it's kind of hung up. Just chill out. Don't click it again. Just wait. There we go. So we have our third device set up now. Now, you may get prompted to restart. If you do, go ahead and do that. Some people may need a second uh, VJoy device or a second virtual device. And if that is you, you can go ahead and set up your second device. Now, one limitation to VJoy is that no two virtual devices can be identical in configuration. So for your second one, you're going to need to change the button value to 127. Okay. Or I guess you could change something else here, but I think that's probably the best, your best option. So this right here actually will create an error for me. I'm going to need to either turn this to 126 or I'm going to delete it. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the device because I don't need it. And again, while this is happening, you're probably going to get restart prompts. Uh, and you're going to want to restart it and open it back up. You're probably going to have to do it around about a three times or so. Once you've restarted for the final time, you're going to want to open up the program and just make sure that all your settings are matching what I have here. All the axes on, uh, either 128 or 127 buttons, continuous with four, 
And yeah, that should be it. After that, you're done. You're probably never going to need to go back into this configuration again unless your setup changes drastically. So a lot of you guys watching this video are going to use the same sticks that I have, my VKB Gladiator and XTs. And if that's the case, your one stick has a one, two for the analog hat stick, three for the base, uh, your X and Y axis is four and five, and your twist is six. You're actually going to have six, okay? What I recommend doing, because I can't find anything worthy to bind to the A1 hat when you click it in and it goes analog, I can't find anything I really need to have there. Sure, you can use it to walk around, but that doesn't, I'm not going to do that. I'm a PC player. I'm going to use my keyboard and mouse for that. So what I'm going to do instead when I get to my joystick gremlin video is I'm going to bind the ax those axes to buttons. So we're actually going to alleviate two of those axes. And if you do your math, that would be four. In that scenario, you would have eight axes on one virtual stick with all the buttons from both sticks all in one virtual device, meaning you never have to PP resort devices again. So this is going to be probably the most common configuration here for most of you guys. And we'll follow along with that on with the, uh, with the Joystick Gremlin video. That's it for this video. The next step is going to be downloading Joystick Gremlin and actually getting your buttons mapped. So make sure you're uh, subscribed and have the bell clicked for that. Once that video is complete, I'm going to go ahead and have it linked here. If you don't already have HID hide downloaded and installed, you're going to want to click this video here. I'm not even sure if these are actually going to be pointing to the right things or if I'm in the right direction. We can mirror it, right, babe? Okay, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this to the end. It means a lot. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. If you wish to support this content, visit subclub.subliminal.gg to learn how. Until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.